It's a wine tank? That's yeah. really what it was? That's really what it was. Woo! I just about did it again. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. What is this you're making, babe? It's starting to stink a little bit, y'all. I'm going to attempt to do something that I have not done before. And one more thing. Okay, we're gonna see if I can do this. Seems like I have a rag or something. Yeah, always get your rag with a change on. I mean, I really feel like a mechanic right now. What is that, the air condition? Hey y'all. Okay. Well, the farmer is out finishing leveling the land that he's been working on. And I am about to get busy in the kitchen because we have a birthday boy coming up in a few days. And tomorrow he's having a couple friends over for the first time ever. He gets to have a pool party. Yeah. So that's exciting. Um, usually it's like because it's in August in North Carolina, it's like, go get some water guns or water balloons or the spray hose and play with your friends outside. But this time he actually has a pool. So that's pretty exciting. Um, he has requested a plain pound cake because that's what he likes. So I'm going to hope I can make my granny's pound cake. Sometimes it's a success and sometimes it's a flop. Here's hoping. Um, and we have some people coming over tonight, some neighbors. So I'm making a cheesecake for that. And then we're gonna have steak and anywho, a lot to do around here to make the house somewhat presentable for guests. <laughs> and the porch, which has bed rails and a bed frame and an old dresser from where I've been cleaning out the kids' room. So anyway, there's a lot to do in a few hours and that's what I'm doing today. I'm really not farming. I fed cows this morning, but that's it. And then my girl and I went to town and ran about eight different errands. So it's just one of those days. But anywho, yeah, it's just gonna, that's what's gonna be this weekend. Celebrating my baby boy. Who's not a baby anymore? Why can't babies keep? I wish somebody would answer that. I love every stage. I love who he is becoming, the young man he is, but I miss my baby boy. My John Wayne Wesley Robert Bernard, that's what he used to tell people his name was. I'll show you a picture. He wore cowboy boots, cowboy hat, and a red bandana every day to preschool and kindergarten. Be still, my mama heart. Anyway, okay. That's that. It's my granny's pound cake recipe in her handwriting with a few notes by me because I've made it before and I didn't do it quite right. The very first thing I did that was very wrong, see where she said one cup of sweet milk? Um, I thought that meant condensed milk, sweet and condensed. No, it does not mean that. It means regular milk. Mm -hmm. So my first pound cake I ever tried was literally a brick, like a brick. <laughs> that was funny and I went and told her. <laughs> And she said, no, child, that's not what you use. So anyway, I love this. It means so much having her recipes and her handwriting. So here we go. Lots of butter, Crisco, flour, sugar. And I bought this special cake flour because that's what she used. And uh, so I want to do what she did. So here we go. Pound cake time. Okay, I just added five eggs, y'all. Five eggs. I'm about to add three cups of flour and one cup of milk, but you have, and then I spilled it everywhere, but you have to alternate it. Did you know that? You have to alternate how you add the flour and the milk, and I'm not sure I do this correctly ever, but I'm gonna try. What you doing? What you doing? What you doing? I'm baking. What you doing? Did you get the clothes on? Mm -hmm. Thank you. She's helping me with the laundry. Okay, so I, I added the flour um, while it was still going too fast. So that's not advisable to do that. 
you to slow it down and then add it so you don't end up with this. Okay, noted. And to make it even more special, I'm using my mother-in-law's old bunt pan. It's it's a good one. Minneapolis, Minnesota bunt brand fluted tube pan. I like it. So his birthday cake will be in the pan that was his one of his grandmothers, and then the recipe for the cake is his great grandmother's. And uh, I don't know feeling a little nostalgic y'all okay so I'm really not a good baker I'm really not I mean sometimes I hit but a lot of times I miss but I am really really good at cleaning the batter bowl well he's back he's done leveling yes. and the kids I'm having a blast. Y'all, best money I've ever spent, I'm not gonna lie. Every day, they've been in it every single day. <laughs> okay, y'all, we have a pound cake. Yeah, sweet. Now, on to other things, like moving furniture. Yeah. Good morning, boys. How you feeling? Doing all right? We're good, we're eating. We're wet. We got uh, 1,600 last night. Or one, almost two tenths is what I'm trying to say. What's three times 22 is 66 divided by 14. Ooh, I don't know, I have to do that math. He's figuring up how much they're getting per head. Trying to get close to five pounds per head. So anyway, we're getting to the bottom of this this little bin, or whatever you want to call it. I reckon it's a bin. What do you call this? It's a wine tank. It's a wine tank? That's yeah. really what it was? That's really what it was. Oh. But it made cheap wine and took grape juice and mixed alcohol with it and made that chicken chicken wine. Kicking chicken wine bin. I had no idea. Okay, well that's interesting. <laughs> I can't remember the name of the wine, but it had a roof on it and fox was flying off his feet. <laughs> we called it we called it kicking chicken. Oh my gosh. Was this local? A local yeah. thing? <clears throat> well, things you learn. The more you know. Kicking chicken wine bins. Feeding kicking calves. <laughs> Whatever. No, that was done. Hey girls. Well they were all up here ready. <laughs> oh, there they go. Come on back. <laughs> yeah. Got, we've got some slick mud this morning. I almost face planted right here a minute ago. Come on. Woo! I just about did it again. <laughs> oh gosh. Oh, we got slick tires on the mule. We need new tires on the mule. Definitely before this winter. holding waiting on Lawrence to get something out of the barn so it's a lovely day for my son to have a little pool party with a couple buddies actually it's fine uh, as long as it's not lightning they're gonna play in that pool for sure so um and like Lawrence said we'll never complain about rain in August because usually it's really dry and uh so we're happy to have some rain. He said the corn was loving it. It's tasseling and shooting. Yeah, so that's good. Uh, the beans are going to be happy about it. The weeds in my yard are happy about it. <laughs> it's time to mow again, and I just did it two days ago. Anyway, 
It's going to be a good day. It's going to be a good day. Calves are fed. He's got, uh, he needs to work on the air condition in the tractor. What did he tell me? He just told me three things he was going to do. I can only remember one. Yeah, drawing a blank. Anywho, a few things he needs to work on, but it's a good day to get them done. It's overcast, a little drizzly. Yeah, I'll take it. There, I got it. Oh, I know, the hydraulic hose. Remember the hydraulic hose that busted in a couple videos ago? Yeah, he needs to work on that. And there's one more thing. It'll come to me. I think it was just going to the feed store. That's it. Okay, my brain is not quite fully awake yet. But it needs to be because kids are going to be showing up very shortly. I think it's a good day for another pot of coffee. Well, y'all, the party, the party is going well. It has been raining, but they do not care. They're swimming anyway. And now, I'm going to cook some hot dogs. This is going to be low-key and perfect. <laughs> My boy. What are you doing? I'm videoing just you through that little hole. Are you having a good party? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> In the rain, in the cool. No, 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 no. What <laughs> scene? <laughs> like a monkey, you look like one too. Okay, no. Let's do the tradi traditional <laughs> version. You don't like my version. Spanish. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. 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 Happy birthday dear Wesley. Come on, y'all. Happy birthday to you. I guess you're Yay. only two. No, you're only two. <laughs> what is this you're making, babe? Shotgun shell holder. A shotgun shell holder. Out of an old pair of boot tops. This is cool. Man, it's raining, isn't it, Bonnie? It just keeps raining. Oh, there's a towel that needs to go inside. Oh, y'all, we also got some new additions to the step. We have a rail now. We've never had a rail. And a bottom step. We didn't have that. And we have a rail over here. Our friend did this for us. He's amazing. And we have entirely new steps. So we can actually come off the porch and go this way. The kids were using a chair. They were stepping off a chair. So anywho, really cool. Love them. Love it. Love it. Hold it. You pull the slack back this way. Okay, now he laces it. It's lacing it. Hmm. Yeah. So you've obviously done this before, huh, Lawrence? Mm. Huh? Mm. No? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You need a lighter. I need to burn the end. Burn the end of the thing. You hold it. You hit your own hand this time. <laughs> This is actually not vitamin C. It's punches, different size punches. That's a very big punch. Oh, great. Now I'm not going to get back in there. I will. There we go. <laughs> Okay, so he's going to use it as a pouch to put shotgun shells in. We've got dove hunting coming up very shortly. Labor Day weekend. It's in a few weeks. Yeah. Looks like we're going to have a good day. 
we're gonna have two. I think I'm gonna hunt this year. What do you think? Should I? <laughs> we got seven, almost eight tenths more rain, three quarter inch. 0.74, I think. Something I wasn't aware of with the banding, I didn't think about, was the smell. It's starting to stink a little bit, y'all. I really thought it was something dead in the grass, but no, it's not. It's, uh, it's the banding. It is misty, rainy, cool. It's in the 60s this morning, y'all. I can't believe it. Come and get it, ladies. Panda, you're bringing out the rear. Usually you're in the lead. Yeah. Hey, pretty girls. You are some pretty girls. Yes. <laughs> With cuckle burrs in your forehead. In your top knot. We call that. That's what we're calling it. Mmm, good stuff, y'all. Good stuff right here. Okay, y'all. Well, it must be Sunday because my hair's washed. <laughs> it's true, though. Um, and I'm going to attempt to do something that I have not done before. I've watched it be, I've watched it been done. I've watched it be done. I've watched it done, but I haven't done it. So, some of y'all, some of y'all have noticed this little thing riding around on my, I almost said counter. It's not a counter, it's a dashboard. For many months, it, I hope it's still in decent shape. Anyway, this would be a fuel filter, an oil filter. So, um, several things need their oil changed. One being this truck of mine. So, Lawrence said it would be helpful if I wanted to do my truck while he did the mule and something else. I think his white truck. Anyway, so I'm going to attempt to change my oil. This I, this is not a big deal for a lot of people. A lot of people change their oil all the time, but it could be a big deal for me because I haven't done it before. <laughs> And I'm almost 42. It's time to learn how to change your oil, oil girl. Oil. Oil is a hard word. Kind of like rural. Rural and oil. I struggle with those words. So anyway, here we go. We're going to go out here. I always got to move a tractor first. After he moves the tractor, I'm going to go out here to the shed. Pull this baby up on some blocks and see if I can change the oil. Say it with me. Here's hoping. While I'm sitting here waiting for him, I just realized um, I got some things that are going to be added to my store next week. I got some truck decals or car or tractor or whatever you want to stick them on. So this is a farm hard live well. I got to put it on my window. I got some spread butter, not hate. These are a little bigger than I thought they were going to be because math is hard for me, but hey, the bigger the better and uh, some of my sun logo. Yeah, so I'm gonna clean my windshield and I'm gonna put some new stickers on. And one more thing, one more thing that I mentioned in the last video, I'm talking, this is a lot of me talking, but that's what we're doing today. So um, I mentioned that I had something fun coming up with Farm Journal Media, Farm Journal. They produce a, a magazine. They do the U.S. Farm Report. Do you watch that? We do when we get it. It doesn't come in a lot, but we love watching that. We are entering farm show season, but guess what? Because of COVID, a lot of the farm shows have been canceled or they're being forced to do things differently this year. So, um, the Farm Journal Field Days is what it's called. It's going to be an online virtual farm show. And I, me, this little girl, this little farm wife down in North Carolina has been asked to head up part of what they're calling the rural, 
see, there's that word again, lifestyle pavilion. So we're gonna have a rural lifestyle pavilion and I am going to be um, helping put together some talks and a video. Well, they'll all be videos, but anywho, there's gonna be two different talks with some of my friends, a couple of people that from YouTube you're gonna recognize, my friend Natalie Kavorik, the Kavorks from the Kavorks, she and myself and our friend Marissa Hake are gonna be talking about balancing the imbalance, all just wearing all the hats and doing all the things and how they get it done and how I try to get it done and, um, just hopefully provide some encouragement, some inspiration, and some practical tips on how we can keep going <laughs> with all the things that we all have going on in our lives. Um, and then I'm going to be doing another talk about overcoming obstacles. And that is going to be with my friend Amanda Nig, who is out in South Dakota, and my friend Andy Detweiler, who you know from YouTube as the Harmless Farmer. Yes. Do you know Andy? If you don't know his story, you definitely need to check him out. But we're going to be talking. So that's two different two different videos that are going to be recorded, pre-recorded, but then we're going to have some live Q&A sessions, question and answer. Yeah. Lawrence, Lawrence asked me what Q&A was. It's question and answer. Um, and those are going to air on August the 27th. So the show starts August 25th and it runs to the 27th, but it will remain online for a year, I believe. And, but we want you to go check it out. The sooner the better. So August 27th, put it on your calendars and I'm gonna give you a link. I'm gonna put it up here and then there'll be a link in the description to go register. It's completely free. It's free, y'all. It's free. Why wouldn't you attend a free farm show? We can all hang out together. So yeah, you will be hearing more about it between now and then. But between now and then is not very long. So I wanted to tell you about it. I want you to get registered and I hope to see you there. All right, now let's go change some oil. Okay, first step, I have to get up on these little, oh my gosh. Uh, that, that just kind of freaks me out. Am I straight? Okay, I had to put it in four-wheel drive. Oh, I gotta get it out of park. Put it in overdrive. <sighs> Shoot. Just straight. Okay, I'm trying to go straight. I just broke the first board. It wasn't big enough. Right there, straighten it up. <sighs> I did, I broke the first board. He said his regular boards are missing. I don't know where they went. Okay, we're gonna see if I can do this not break this one. Oh, got it. Okay, here's some of the tools. Here we go. Um, I need to get on my back. Okay, I found the oil pan. Well, with some help I did. So now I know where that's at. Okay, now what? It's gonna Oops. pour out of here? Yeah, it's going to pour down. It's going to come by right on us. So right where my head is? Right where your head is. So when you get it loose, and you start out with your hands, you hold the bucket up like this so it don't get in your face. Common sense. Get it loose first. Okay. Get it loose. It ain't going to okay. loose yet. Okay, I know that. Okay, put your wrench over on the other side and take your hand and bump it. Take your hand and bump it. Be best if you bump the wrench to your hand. <laughs> what are you saying? Are you coming back this way? I'm trying. Well, it ain't tight, but I, I just well it must be tight because it's not turning. <laughs> it won't turn, babe. It will turn. Take this box in and hook in the open end just like that. You'll have double rev leverage. Take the box in. Hook on this side, Joe. No, 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 no. No. You got it? You hook this side. You pull it. Truck pin on it. Going along again. I thought I was looking at you doing it right. You just hooked it every way with the, all right, now you're coming. 
Now, pull back this way. You pushing? No, I'm not. Pull. I am pulling. Okay. All right. Let me know those wrench. You need. It ain't come loose in that. Ain't need to start to get your bucket. Get it the way you turn it with your finger. Okay. Will you get away and turn it with your finger? I can. I can turn it with right, my hand. I have my hand. Now, you take one hand and turn the thing, and the other hand hold it up that so when it comes out, it's going to come out about right that far. It'll be in your face, and then that blonde head, and then I'm going to laugh. I can get a video of that. <laughs> That's what I'm worried about. It's hot up under here. Yeah. Is yeah, it all going to be hot? More than likely, it's going to be a little warm. Come on, change the oil. You get used to it. You do You'll find out. How far out is it going to shoot? Well, it can't shoot out if you keep that bucket over there. Oh. Don't drop the plug in the bucket. Okay. Oh, yeah. I see how far out it's going. Yeah. Yeah. I'll hold it there to the. It would be on my head. Yeah. I shouldn't have told you. I should have let it go, and then we'd have a real video. No. But see, as nice husband yeah, I am. You're I, nice. I saved all of that. That would have been real good on the video. Black hot oil in that blonde hair. All right, you can move the bucket on up now. A little bit. Move it up where? That's a little stressful. Okay. What is that? At least it's a dog in a Fire water bucket. Water. At least All I right, know. you see that oil filter? Yeah. You want to turn it to the left. You'll have to grab it with these pliers and maybe mash it and turn it to the left a little bit and then you can screw it off with your hand and oil will run out of it too. Don't get oil in your pliers. Don't get oil in your pliers. You want oh. to turn it. If you can just turn it a little bit, it'll spin off with your hand. I turned it a little bit. Okay, we'll turn it a little bit more. I'm going to turn a little bit more, see if you turn with your hand. Okay, I can. Okay. Now, oh, it's all running out from That's it. That's right. Stick your old bucket under that. <laughs> no, it's all running out, though. I know it's going to run out. I know. Out. So, how do you take it off? You take your finger and spin it a little bit and let the oil run out most of it, and then you get oil on your hand and take the filter on off. Well, it's coming out pretty hard. All right. You want to do it a little bit more, you'll see. Seems like I have a rag or something. Yeah, always get your rag when you're changing on. I didn't bring a rag. Maybe he's going to get me a rag. Yeah. The filter will be full of oil when it comes off, so just pour it over in the bucket. And then just throw it out the front of the truck. The oil ain't hot, is it? Yeah, it is hot. Oh, it's just warm. It's, it's hot. No, it is Well, it ain't cool. It's just warm. Warm. It when feels... It's hot, it'll burn. Trust. Well, well, trust me, it's not... I can't... I have to take a rag and take the filter off. And oh, shoot. There we go. Ah, it is hot. It was too hot to hold. I'll throw it out the front. Throw it out the front. Oh, that's right. All right, I'm putting the pan plug back in. <laughs> Just hand tighten it. I mean, as tight as I can get it. We'll take the wrench and snug it up. Oh. Your oil will be running out down the road if we don't blow the motor. That would be bad. Okay. Put it okay. a little tight in there. Mm. All right. It's as snug as I can get it. All right. Now what? Take your finger. It's still running out. Does that matter? Yeah, let it run out. Most of the time you take your finger and get you some oil and run around this gas. But that's probably running out and it'll have enough on the face. When you screw this up there, you screw it on and then take your hand and tighten it as tight as you can get it. It's all right, it's just trickling. Let it trickle just a few more seconds. Let it keep trickling.
I mean, I really feel like a mechanic right now. What is that? The air condition? Okay. Yay. All right. I did as tight as you can get it. Just with my hanging? That's right. Okay. It's on. Is that it? The oil's changed? You ain't putting that in it yet, hey? Oh, yeah. Still gotta put it in there. Forgot about that. Oh, six liter V8. Six quarts. Yeah. Okay. I was over here reading this. I was reading 25 quarts. <laughs> what we have here is a six liter V8. Six quarts, 5.7 liters for the rest of the world. And that's a wrap. I just realized I didn't really finish that up. I got the oil changed. It's good. I've driven the truck to town. I'm getting ready to pick up my son from uh, church, youth group. Put gas in it. My gas tank is full. The oil is changed. What is the world coming to? I don't know, but it's good. It's been a good day good weekend lots going on so anywho we'll leave it we'll leave this one here and we'll see you next time and we thank you for being here we thank you for your likes your comments your subscribes subscriptions your subs whatever you want to call that yeah we'll see you next time